This is Engineering Sustainable Futures is the latest STEM resource from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Some of the bigger challenges we face stem from how we interact with our environment and engineering is essential to finding sustainable solutions. The challenges in the STEM resource invite learners to explore some of these important and pressing problems that society faces, encouraging them to act and think like engineers and to find their own solutions to a sustainable innovation design challenge. Both the teacher guide and the student guide are available online for free for anyone to download on our resource hub. Most of the materials that are needed for the activities are really easily accessible. And the only additional thing is Data Hive Green, which you can get along with the physical copies of this resource by being part of the Connecting STEM Teachers programme. The challenges in this booklet have been divided up into three sections, two inspired by an engineer called Olivia, two inspired by an engineer called Ines, and two inspired by an engineer called Halford, um, along with a competition, which we'll talk about in a different video. Now, a key piece of equipment for the challenges in sustainable futures is this data hive green. Now, this is a small data logger and you can use it in four different ways. The first way is to get instant data. There are five buttons on the front and if you just press one of these, I'm going to press the one for temperature, we can see it gives a reading of the temperature at this time. If I was to press a button looking at light intensity, as I move my hand near the sensor, we can see how the output changes. But we can also connect this up to a laptop or a computer. So what you need is a USB cable, you plug it in, and then you go to data.redfern.uk and it gives you this board here that gives a little bit more information than just what you can read on the sensor itself. There's also the option to graph live data and you can also detach this and leave it to record data over a certain time period, perhaps 24 hours when you're looking at the temperature in a certain place. And then you can interpret that data by going to data.redfern.uk. And once you've attended one of the workshops, you'll receive 15 of these. So that's enough for all of the students in your group to have one either individually or in pairs when they actually come to do the challenges themselves. Those of you that are already familiar with our past resources, then you'll uh, know that we always link them to the STEM curriculum. So you'll find here that there are links to maths, um, science, design, technology, um, and we try and cover from 9 to 14, so upper primary and lower secondary. And again, you might be familiar with the engineering habits of mind, but once again, we try and link the activities in this booklet to those engineering habits of mind, encouraging problem solving, systems thinking, and creativity. There's an engineering habits quiz, which can be accessed on the This is Engineering Sustainable Futures page on our resource hub, um, which students can take to map out where their engineering habits are and again we try and uh, stress that this quiz the results are not fixed from this quiz that they can take it several times and the engineering habits might change depending on what they're doing um, and where at what stage they're at in various different activities alongside the engineering habits of mind we also want to reward um, learners for their commitment to stem through digital stem badges so there's a stem badge once they've completed two of the challenges four of the challenges and six of the challenges. Visit rae.mindsetsonline.co.uk to submit your students' work and apply for the badges. It's a really simple process. Students show you their work. You um, fill in the form on the website. You attach optional supporting evidence. However, we'd like to encourage you to do this and at least one piece of evidence per every 10 students. We look at the applications and then we'll send you digital badges to share with your students. Now the final part of the teacher guide has solutions to some of the challenges in the student guide and this is where you can actually check the answers for the work that the students are doing when they're actually completing the challenges. So if you'd like to get your own copy of this please have a look at the STEM resources website. You can download a digital copy of the teacher guide and the student guide and you can find out more about how you become part of the Connecting STEM Teachers Network.